Down boy. Heal. Remove the metal thing from your face. Alright guys. Hey, what's up? Hello. My name is Dave. I've got Christian here who I'm wondering if he even is a human at this point. I mean, you act like a dog. Oh, thanks. Free money. Put Free that money. In my mouth. No. <laughs> I'm going to put it here. Today we're going to talk about uh, constructive criticism. It was something that uh, Christian brought up at a point, and not specifically the idea of construction criticism itself, more just our own personal thoughts on the matter of it. Because, keep in mind, the reason we're talking about this is because everybody looks at constructive criticism a little bit differently than others. Uh, with that being said, since it was his idea to talk about it in the first place, Christian, why don't you start? Alright, so... Just leave criticism. your... I know. Just leave any kind of personal experience out of it, and we're just kind of giving our no, ideas No, I know. So, I know. Well, so, I, I, re I really think that cr constructive criticism is something that's very important in life. Uh, simply because, I mean, when you have constructive criticism... It, it's it's meant to help you. It's meant to, so that when you feel like um, the reason why people do constructive criticism, in my opinion, is because when you're doing something um, that may be a little bit off or wrong, um, it is meant to push you into the right direction instead of actually just lying to you and saying, Hey, um, you know, just continue this and you'll be fine. No. So constructive criticism, um, in my opinion, is just kind of like, in a way, a piece of advice. So, for example, if I were to go and I were to tell someone, Hey, you know, um, look, I don't think you should be doing this, the some. I should. Sorry. If you can word it. <laughs> I don't think you should be doing this this way. I think you should do it the other way. Because this is what's going to happen if you do it this way. That is constructive criticism. If you, you know, but it, it, it's also advice. You know? Um, I think that, yes, as David said, everyone. Well, it's that constructive criticism um, differently, but at the end of the day, it can save someone's life. And so, the last thing I'm gonna say about this is, you know, well, for right now. <laughs> yeah, at least for right now, is that um, I really feel like it's. Um, I really, really, really feel like it will, um, it is something that will benefit someone instead of harm them. And it's on that, when you give constructive criticism, it is on them if they choose to take it or leave it. Um, so a certain person... Who will not be mentioned for their own safety, for their own well being, told me one time that I think it's better for you to work on yourself and to have self love. That is advice, but that is also um, criticism in a way. Mm -hmm. And so that, that there is something I took to heart. And that is something that I ha it has made me a better person. That's fair. Well, I guess since you're supporting the claim, I'm going to be playing good cop, bad cop. These do not fit me at all. <laughs> and this is horrible. This is a horrible impression of a freaking bad cop, but I, I give up. It's more like a gay cop in my <laughs> opinion. <laughs> bad! <laughs> <laughs> Not, well, th not that there's anything wrong with it. Yeah, at least this looks bad, but I don't care. Actually, that looks like a tomboy now. 
<laughs> it kind of does. Tom I might, I might actually make this work. <laughs> what are you? Mario with a white hat. Woohoo! Woohoo! Except Mario does a four. Anyway, back to the topic. So, as far as constructive criticism goes, the main... Oh my gosh, would you not? I prefer oh, that, it that way. Yeah, please keep that hat on. You know why. I'm a smack you boy. Anyway, the part of the term constructive criticism, he focused on like the criticism, the constructive part of it. I'm going to focus more on the criticism part, just to differentiate the idea of it. Um, so, criticism is criticism one way or the other. Now, as he was kind of saying in his, it works for, as I said earlier, it works for some people, not for others. Uh, I'm going to go off the idea that, from my own experiences, from what I've seen, those who can't do it are can't look can't look at it like as the constructive part to help you you know construct your life in a way like he was claiming look at it as the criticism part which can be taken very very negatively not everyone not everyone is built to uh, like be build their lives off of that kind of thing some people are like the pe kind of people that Christian was listening but when I look at it, um, kind of like how I look at it, the people who don't like going off of constructive criticism would rather be like kind of guided in a sense through more gentle terminology, like what I would. Uh, that's where it kind of differentiates the two, I feel like. Um, for me specifically, I'd rather get have someone approach me and go, okay, so... You have a couple of options. You can either do this. It's probably wiser to do this, but you can do either or. It's like rather than because the diff it sounds similar, but the di main difference between the two is constructive criticism is more harsh love rather than just gentle. Like that's the big difference between the two. Tough love and gentle love. Those who don't understand or can't do tough love would rather prefer gentle. He prefers tough, I prefer gentle. Like that kind of thing. Okay, you know what? This actually is not working as much. See ya! <laughs> but when it comes to constructive criticism and how it works, I like I understand the concept perfectly. I He's actually given me constructive criticism before, and I, I've taken it. I don't like constructive criticism as much as just a generic advice and option. But I still take it as it is, because, I mean, what else am I going to do? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's something to consider uh, overall that I can agree with him on. You just got to be careful where you use it and who you use it on. Okay, so I actually looked this up real quick. I was wondering um, what you were doing. So... I'm like looking down at his phone. So like, criticism Duff. is often th uh, thoughtlessness by another person, but it can also be... Uh, deliberated maliciously and hurtful. Yeah. Constructive criticism, on the other hand, is designed to point out your mistakes, but also show you where you can improvements can be made. That's actually why I pointed out when I say constructive criticism. That's why I pointed out uh, when when I started talking. That's why I said you focused on the constructive part. I focused on the criticism yeah. part because some people, when they look into it, don't consider the constructive part and. It, think of it as immediate criticism rather than constructive criticism. But it also really depends on the wording that's being used. That's also, constructive criticism. One thing about it is you have to be very careful on how you word it. Otherwise, as you said, it can be taken the uh, as the other kind. And one last thing I'll say about this Go um, ahead. is this much. from Just from my personal experience, I'm not talking about anyone else, Yeah. but from my personal experience... Every time I get constructive criticism and I do take it, it leaves me off to be a better person. Yeah. Uh, than where I was before. Um, now, I, I do think that constructive criticism is something that, um, again, is important um, simply because... Um, if you do not, if you do not know how to take, and you should learn how to take constructive criticism, but, you know, um, but 
I mean, I just, I personally think that constructive criticism has to be done in a certain way. Yeah. It, it can't, it can't be done to hurt someone. Sometimes the wording can lead to that if you're not careful, but yeah. That's why I'm saying that. You gotta be careful. But you, you also, I mean, you want to be honest with them, of course. But, you know, I mean, you you have to be careful because that can also that once done the wrong way is no longer constructive is not then what I like to call destructive criticism. Actually I feel like I've heard that somewhere before <laughs> outside and, of you. Um and you know what, that is something that I take personally. You know, yeah. I, I don't like hurting people. I really don't and that is why I think that constructive criticism, when done the right way, can save a person's life. It saved mine. Many. And to add on to that, like, the thing about constructive criticism, and most of the time, the person, the people who do give the criticism but don't realize it's more destructive than constructive, they don't really realize they, they it's like one of those circumstances where it's just said in the moment but not really ted talks reconsidered kind of thing it's just immediately said off of whatever's going off the fly that's usually when it leads to destructive instead however as i said before it's not always not everyone can handle it um there are some people in the world like christian as i've said who was raised off the idea of tough love um, people like that can't. Those, and you know, good tough love. Because there's good tough love, like what Christian went through, but then there's bad tough love, where basically their whole life they've been abused. Literally their whole life. And you know, and sorry, this, I promise you this will be the last ahead, thing dude. that I do say. Don't worry about it. Go ahead. Um, is, is this much? I think that um, Tough love also can be considered a good thing because it can teach you yeah. certain things. But again, that's why I differentiated. The yeah, time. no, no. But again, there's, 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 like everything. There's a time and a place for it. Yeah, I, I have always believed that there's always a time and a place, um, or and a season for it. Time, place, season, and person. Those are the and four person, things. Yeah. Those are the four things you have to consider when it comes to tough love. Tough love is kind of like um, learning, like how you learn. Yeah. Uh, tough love and gentle love is what I like to call the opposing. Um, it, love is that kind of learning is kind of like generic learning. Some people learn by uh, like reading. Some people learn by doing. Some people learn by hearing or seeing. It's really depending on the person whether it actually works or not. And when it does work, you still have to go about it in a very particular way. Otherwise, it could be just a large, I don't know, avalanche. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, guys, um, I'm out of thoughts, so I'll let him close the video. Well, I've got not much else to say either. Great! We did a great job! High five! Yay. Wow! <laughs> Whoa, I'm, dude! I'm, totally so dude. radical! Totally not high of anything at all. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah, he's always high. Yeah, off of life. Off pink, off pink, off pink Fox's love. Since that's never happened yet, if I can speak, since that hasn't happened yet, no. Bad. <laughs> no. Bad. I'm going to end this video before this guy goes to a worse place. Like I'm doing already. Yeah, okay. Um, if you guys want to check out any other discussion rants like this or videos where I talk about kind of personal life stuff, click the... They're, they're somewhere on the screen. I don't know. I can't, I can't point at them right now. Here. <laughs> and he's about to go to a worse place. Uh, want to check out the uh, channel itself? If you want to check out anything else that uh, is done on here, uh, click the link that's like somewhere right here or down there. Uh, in the meantime, though, we're going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, guys, and we hope to see you in another one. Bye for now. Peace.